Hi guys, I'm Miro. So we are finally going to start with XAML. Your first question may be, what is XAML? According to Microsoft Docs, XAML is XML based extensible application markup language. This means in simple English, XAML is a programming language for the UI. Ok, switch to the file explorer and open the folder with the source code for this course. Go to the first module and containers and open the solution. At first, let's check the XAML editor. The default editor for XAML consists of two parts, the visual designer and XAML code editor. You can swap this out with these two small arrows or change the orientation with this horizontal and vertical line. There is also a toolbox for all WPF controls and the property window as well. Through this course, we are going to use only the XAML code editor. Now we know how the editor looks like and we can start with some container exercises. As you can see, there are two projects in this solution, the containers and containers done. So let's check the finished application. In this part, we are going to build this calculator-like UI. Ok, close the application. We can keep this as template. So I adjust the UI so we can see the finished product and our exercise. We will start with the stack panel. This container can arrange the child elements vertically or horizontally. By default, the alignment will be vertical. So I will change the grid to stack panel. Now I will create this label with zero within. The element is called label and we can set the content of this element by the content attribute. As you can see the alignment and the size is not correct. So that's better. We can put this first button group into a grid container. This container provides a table-like structure where each child element can take place in the individual cell. The area in the grid is divided into rows and columns. For this you have to add the row and column definitions. So let's do it. Now we are going to need 6 buttons. I will just copy paste this from this template. By default, all elements within the grid tag will belong to the first cell. We can change this with the grid.row or grid column attribute. Enter the size of these columns. There are three possible settings. Relative to another columns, you have to define this value with an asterisk. So the value 1 is by default. If the relative value is equal in every column, the width will be equal as well. If this value doubled, the width will be doubled against another columns as well. So for example, I change this to 2 and the last button is 2 times bigger like the previous one. If I change the MS button to 3, so the M button is 2 times bigger like the MC button and the MS button is 3 times bigger like the MC button. I will change it back. The second is absolute size. So you can define the size in pixels, inches or centimeters. Pixels, centimeters and inches. The last option is auto. And this will adjust the size to the child element. And this will be for these buttons. For the next container element, we can use the uniform grid. This container will arrange all child elements automatically. So create uniform grid and I will copy paste these buttons as well. As you can see, it has five columns instead of four. So we can define the number of columns. And the simple calculator UI is done. Now we can switch the default project, right click on project, and set up startup project. And the simple calculator UI is done. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. 
and see you in the next video.